The most rushed part about going for the N3 is not actually learning the material. It's learning how to study. Oh my god, it's me. Hey, internet. Welcome back to a Japanese learning log. I have no script. I just want to make a video. And I've been reminded recently that I need to document not create. If I'm not gonna put time into making videos to create them, I want to document at least what I'm doing and that's Japanese in development. Let's recap where I am real quick. And to do that, I need to grab something. Oh, and uh, just to give you an idea of uh, what this video is going to entail, a bit of rambling, sure, maybe some B-roll, I don't know. It's October 29th, but yeah, I'm just gonna go over where I'm going, what I want to do after the N3, right? I'm taking the N3 in a month and a bit. Last I made a video about Japanese, uh, past the N5. The last learning log, I was talking about how pretty much was doing the bare minimum. I'm doing Wanikani. I'm on level 17, 0, 34 kanji have been passed. Bare minimum Wanikani, that's fine. I have, I have been trying to shoot for about two hours a day of Japanese, and I, most days I've been falling short of that goal because I'm taking the N3 on December 4th. I'm not prepared. <laughs> all in all, I think it's been a great decision. A, it'll be good experience, uh, and B, it's given me a curriculum to learn by. Set grammar to go with, I have a specific target for vocab. Yeah, so that's one Ikani, and then Boon Pro. At the moment, it's actually kind of high on reviews. I've been doing 12 to 16 reviews every four days, uh, and that's actually a really good pace. I'm a big fan of it because a lot of the grammar gets grouped together. It's kind of difficult, you know, for various reasons. I don't want to go over reviews. And then for Anki, I have both an N4 deck and an N3 deck. Uh, when I take the N3, pass or fail, I want to make another video, and I have all these, all these notes for that, but I wanted to just document today. It's the last weekend I can really allocate to N4 stuff. I've already started studying for N3, the Boon Pro reviews, for example, doing the N3 grammar points, the N3 Anki deck, I'm doing about 60 new words a day. Here's what I'm doing, right? I've taken three practice N4 so far. Uh, I have failed all of them. <laughs> Uh, this is why I think I'm unprepared for the N3. I know I'm unprepared. I've gotten 38%, 39%, 39%. And I realized this too late and I'm still stuck in this hole a bit. I'm too reliant on reviews. Reviews take up a lot of time. They shouldn't technically if you keep them low. But I've been reading this book for Japanese folk tales. Uh, it's effectively got these cool folk tales with English translations and the relevant vocab words. I still think it's important to expose to reading. Even if you don't understand it, you know, there's a bunch of words I don't get. Two things I found taking the practice N4 exams. The first is that my listening is garbage. And I just did seven warm up questions. It took me about 40 minutes. I was listening and answer and then I, you know, this is practice book has been super nice because it, it has a little like written. What, it, it writes alongside the audio and I need to spend more time focusing on studying for the actual exam as opposed to just reviews. I'm, I'm watching anime, I'm listening to music, try to listen to podcasts, I'm just not good at getting myself to do it. I have this review book for listening. I also have one for the reading section because my reading is also terrible. Here's my plan. This last weekend is the only weekend really I can allocate to these. So I wanna focus, I don't know, finishing these books. I don't think I will. N3 listening, I was recommended this, Shinkansen. Uh, master, so complete mastery. And then these two books I read on an article, this brand, the reading one on first Shinkansen and never, never got here. So I need to go out and get one of those. These are actually kind of cool too. The, the reading one's difficult. Uh, is this the reading one? <laughs> no, it's not. The reading one's difficult. It's just because I don't know what it's asking sometimes. And you know, that's, that's a problem. I do great. I do great on the kanji section <laughs> and the vocab section, but the grammar section for particles is also pretty weak but it's passable uh, is the problem. Yeah, I'm not trying to get 100 on this N3. Actually, you know what, I kind of am. I'm trying to aim small, miss small. So if I aim for a 90 and hit a 60, as opposed to aiming for a 60 and hit a 40. Anyway, that's what I'm doing today. I've been like, I've been in a rut. I mean, I haven't uploaded since the last reading ramble uh, and I'm kind of preparing for the next one already. I don't know, I, I'm, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to rein myself in a bit. This is a life thing, I guess. I don't know. This isn't the reading ramble. I don't care. I don't freaking know. I'm just trying to document. I'm rambling. I don't want to try and make great content or anything. If you're watching, great. I love it. Thank you. Uh, hopefully you get something from it. You know, I've been doing a whole a mix of things and reviews are taking up too much time. I'm procrastinating on them too much. After the M3, pass or fail, I want to get to this point where I sit down to do something, watch TV, whatever, and I do it in Japanese. So right now I'm watching anime and I'm watching it with, with English subtitles because I wanted to understand what was happening. And this was something I realized a long time ago, but that's the short, that's the short path. So I want to make a new rule where from here on out, if I watch any sort of anime, TV show, whatever, it's gotta be Japanese, no English. And that forces me to listen. Something I've noticed with the listening is like, my vocab is actually pretty good, if I may say so myself. It's the fact that I can't translate one-to-one -one in my head and I need to avoid doing that. I think it's important, I kind of need to, but I need to just get better both through, uh, you know, watching content and, and, and 
being engrossed in what's happening so that I can hear more. It's the same principle with reading, right? Read more and get myself better exposure there. So this morning I was doing like 20 minutes reviews, 20 minutes TV. I got out, went for a run and I took a two hour nap. So who knows, <laughs> it's Saturday, whatever. When I was studying for the ACT in high school, I pretty much sat down with one of those Princeton prep books and I was like, all right, Mark, three days for the rest of your life, go. And I did all right. I'm trying to adopt the same mentality, these 48 hours for the rest of my life. I need to be done with N4 stuff and moving on to N3. And if I wanna confidently move on to all this N3 prep material, A, I, I, I would like to pass the N4. I have three more mock exams to take. I would like to pass the N4. I would like to create these strategies. And knowing I can complete these, gives me confidence that I can complete these. The most rushed part about going for the N3 is not actually learning the material, it's learning how to study. I tried to record last weekend like my unproductive study routine, but I was editing it and it just made me depressed because I was like, wow, this is not a good you know, routine. So it's 5.08 p.m. You know, I've done my reviews earlier than most days, which is not good. Uh, in, in the fact that, you know, it's good that I've done them today, but I have three mock uh, N3 practice exams over here. Oh yeah, I got Kimi no Nawa, the book. Uh, I have Jekyll and Hyde in Japanese, that was from a while ago. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to read that for a long time. But anyway, I got the whole My Hero Vigilantes manga series. I read in English a little bit ago. It resonated with me a lot more so than the actual series. So I want my goal to be to read these, both during and after finishing. This was by my bed. I try to read a little bit of Japanese. You know, one page a day, eventually you finish. <sighs> yeah, studying for Japanese has been has been a force. I don't, you know, I don't wanna keep studying after the N3. I just wanna read and, and listen and watch anime in Japanese and not do it in English. And that's just a rule to have going forward forward, right? Don't take the short path. Just to end this thought, there's pretty much one idea of mine that has constantly stuck around. You know, I made a video about notes on immersion or something a while ago. I've been thinking about life as a video game a lot recently, watching Shield Hero. It's kind of like the grind is, is the grind. Right, games make it fun. It's fun picking up weeds in Animal Crossing. It's fun dying over and over in Dark Souls. But doing doing this prep stuff, reviews are a grind of their own. But doing this prep stuff, I've just now set aside an hour every day to just show up like I would at a class, because I always showed up to class. So like, why did that work? That grind is necessary to kind of push yourself past a certain plateau. I can watch anime and actually, I hear a lot of the right words, but I don't understand the relation between them. Hearing the particles, I'm like, okay, I don't, I don't understand what that has to do with anything else. Watching English subtitles, it's, it's kind of fun because reading the English and then hearing the sentence, I can almost immediately pair which parts are doing what. In my head, I can think, oh, you know, I wonder why they translated it into that subtitle if it's not exactly that. To enjoy those, enjoy those moments, you know, enjoy winning the parts of the game, you gotta grind to get XP. This is a notion I have with, you know, physical fitness as well. It's like, you gotta, you gotta grind to get experience, to get better, to beat the boss. I, I don't know, I'm sorry. I just finished 40 minutes of listening and I thought to myself, unironically, you know, this is kind of fun. It's it's studying and I can I felt myself actively learning. It's been a while since the last learning log, but I have adopted a bunch of new habits. I'm just gonna say a few of those now. 15 minutes or so of active reading every day is what I shoot for. Reading a folk tale, whatever. I, I'm not counting if I sit down and manga before bed or whatever. 16 new N3 Anki cards every day. The last three days I have not been doing this. Uh, I was away on a work thing on Wednesday. I put my to-doist in Japanese. I think I, I mentioned that a while ago because someone left a comment. And then I wanna get more N3 study materials. I mean, I have these, but I, I wanna get a reading one. I wanna go out and get a reading one. It's October 29th, right? What's good is that I kind of am done studying explicitly for N4 when it comes to memorization and reviews, but I, what I didn't realize is that I need to study for the N4 exam. N5, I just got by somehow. I do need to study specifically for the exam. You know, I, I've done all the N4 grammar points. I feel like I have a, a good handle on a lot of them. Just hearing them, in use during listening or reading them and understanding what a good situation is and all that contextualness. I don't I don't have a good grasp on. So I'm studying for the N4 way too late, but I have the, the foundation of grammar and, and vocab. Knowing that doing the N3 should be easy to study for going, not easy, I shouldn't say easy. That's gonna bite me in the ass. I'm learning how to study with the N4 and I'm specifically studying for the JLPT and it's kind of nice because It'll be good to study for the N3 exam. Yeah, enough talking out of my ass. Here are my little sticky notes, by the way. I wanna be the guy who says he's gonna get things done and get it done. Really neutral face about last weekend for N4 stuff. 40 hours for the rest of my life. This was last night, I was in a bit of a bit of a hole. Only, only Japanese anime and media. Uh, I wanna zero these out. These are tallies of 20 minute sessions. As you can see, I've only done an hour today. And then challenge resistance. This is my to-doist. To um, and then in my ideal week, I have like an hour of the active listen. You know, that's what I just did from four to five. 
uh, hour of active listening or reading, I have every other day is a different one. Three hours a day is not enough, but it's like, I'm just still working my way there. It has been a struggle, but hanging in there. All right, so I don't feel like shutting up right now. Just show how much time I've been spending exactly. <clears throat> I log all my time studying Japanese. Last week or so, I've spent almost six hours. You know, an hour and a half, not even an hour, an hour, 47. Logging your time, I will say, really puts things into perspective. Let's do the last 90 days, right? So August, September, October. A hundred and, hmm, round up, 108 hours over the last three months. So that's August, September, and October. 108 divided by 90, it's not enough. Some weeks, you know, kind of hit two hours a day, but I just want to show this because it's not like I'm saying so much about what I'm doing and everything and, and, and how great it might be, but it's it's not all, it's not all that great. I kind of suck at this. I'm just trying to hit a goal <laughs> and I'm struggling. Look at this, it's all Japanese. I'm going crazy. We're gonna kick on these Brain FM lo-fi beats again and crack on my friends. Oh, I'm gonna get some water first. Hydration check. The demons are fighting. Totally irrelevant to Japanese. I'm stopping for a little bit. I've made a dent today. A dent is something where you make enough progress, like doing enough words. You A, do more than what showed up today, and B, you make sure that less than that number shows up tomorrow. So, all right, it's 9.30. Uh, I don't know how much more I have in me, <laughs> but I haven't done much, I guess. Played a game for like an hour and a bit. I'm gonna continue this little learning log until tomorrow uh, because A, there's no way I'm finishing the reviews off the zero tonight. You know, I have not gotten to these yet. I think I'm gonna do that next. I'm gonna take a little breather, go outside and literally cool off. Grammar review 68, vocab review 59 on Boon Pro. Oni Kani is 434. Uh, I'll put a dent in there, do 200 or so. That should take me 20 or so minutes. And one last thing just to, you know, throw it out there. Nihongo so matome, the grammar book. Uh, it's M3 grammar, and it's good for practice, but it also explains things in English, which is great. And it's specifically for the grammar section. Oh, this is the listening one. <laughs> nice job. I can tell a rabbit, Usagi, from a monkey. Sawari? That's not it, that's not it. Taru. That was margin of error. I may put Boom Pro on vacation mode toward maybe the end of November? I'm gonna need to put reviews. I just need to make sure those get down. It's like 20 more days of the N3 word. Anyway, because reviews are just so much of my day and I wanna study for the exam, because I need to, you know, spend more time doing this, no excuses, practice exams. It's a possibility. Last thing I wanna say, progress sneaks up on you. And I'm, I always say this, you know, if you if you wanna learn Japanese, start with hiragana and katakana. And then to learn katakana, put your phone or at least one app in Japanese. And for hiragana, when you learn kanji, it will come naturally. You have to, you know, the Anki deck, but the pronunciation for all the kanji are in hiragana. There is no romanji or Roman Latin characters. You just learn it along the way. You don't need to get everything perfect, right? And I think the same goes for grammar. And I've sort of always said this, but you need to, you know, learn stuff and get a foundation. And, you know, I stress out over these listening questions because I missed a few words, but then you think, oh, I kind of got the gist of it. That's kind of cool. All right, it's 10:40 uh, p.m. I feel like I have been doing Japanese for a long time today. I know it hasn't been all day. We can see I only done three and a half hours today, and it feels like I've done so much more. I just I'm just trying to focus on zeroing out my reviews. Yeah, tomorrow I'm gonna do the same thing. Gonna go put aside time on to do this, whatever, or split break things down. The hardest part in general is getting myself to start. Once I started doing the listening, 40 minutes felt like it passed. I even thought I was having fun. Tomorrow, I'm already not looking forward to how difficult it is going to be to just start. I don't know, not every day is three and a half hours. I wish it was. I can come up with so many excuses and I can make good reasons to procrastinate this, procrastinate that, but yeah, I gotta do food shopping. I'm gonna go to the Japanese store tomorrow. Maybe I'll cut that if it takes too long, you know? Yeah, I'm just already not looking forward to the fight I have to have inside my head. Sheer force of will. <laughs> but you know, that's all this takes, right? A little discipline here and there. It's 6.48 in the morning. Can you, can you see that? I've had my head down for like 40 minutes. Uh, and I need to stop because it's poop and I have so many reviews to do. I need to, can I do this? Mid video? Oh, this is gonna take a long time. 
I need to, to get to work, <laughs> do things. What up? 35 minutes, 35 seconds of Boom Pro. Ram reviews are down to 47. And at 1 p.m. I have to review everything I just did. I am going to get outside, gonna head up to the store, get a reading thing, maybe get a keychain, I don't know. It's nice to have those new words done and then I will resume my focus on zero. First of all, hydrate. So I got two books. I did get the one I intended to get, the one that never came from Amazon. Apparently passages are longer on N3, so speed is important. And then I got a vocab N3 book for so Somatome, which looks good because it has a lot of like situational vocabulary, which is, I think, useful. Yeah, so all of them today really is Boon Pro and do, 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 do. these are ironically not being used. Bro, I'm like collecting them all. These will be done over November at 4 to 5 p.m. every day for an hour. I will actively study one of these. That is incredibly terrifying. So I'm just gonna throw out the plan for today and then I'm gonna end off the video with whatever end card I do. And it's just gonna show the times I log. It's a beautiful, rainy, cloudy day here in Seattle. But yeah, I think just looking at those, through those end, these end through books while I was in the store, it was like, really need to do these. Really need to study specifically for this exam. I think I can do it in a month. I think these will, these will be a huge step forward. In theory, I thought Boon Pro would end uh, re vocab reviews plus reading just whatever uh, would get me there alone. But I think having the intermediary specifically exam stuff is gonna be key. But obviously grass is always green on the other side. And then I just wanna finish up on one last verbal thought here before we go to the end card and you see what time I, what I've done. I don't wanna go ahead and, and distill everything I've done into a bunch of bullet points. You know, a summary of how I passed the N4, how I took the N3 after six, whatever. If I pass it, you know, how I passed the N3. I, there's no one perfect method. In very rare cases, unless I'm certain that it worked, in other words, I have a lot of confidence in these review books, and I think for a good reason, they're popular because they're studying for the exam. And unless I'm super certain that it is this one thing that made a big difference, I can't look at Boon Pro and say, this made the biggest difference in the world. It's something to do, and it brought grammar points to my awareness, but I don't think it's directly helping with the exam. You know, in some sense, it's not supposed to. It's not an exam prep site. It's a grammar expo uh, exposure site. I doubt the day's ever gonna come where I make a how I pass this exam. I have these journal notes for my progress, and I wanna make a, you know, a video where I sit down and go, and go through those logs, you know? Not what to do, that's the key. It's, I don't ever wanna make a what to do to pass the whatever exam. I wanna make, here's how I did it. I, I wanna, and I wanna document that. Here's the three and a half hours I did on a Saturday. Maybe I'll make another one of these uh, and you know go throughout a week in the middle end of November. The last week of November would probably be a good day, a good week to do it. These 36 hours, I hope you could take something away from it, right? That you know, you watch this and maybe you're studying for the JLPT and you're like, oh cool, I didn't know, you know, Shinkansen master books didn't exist. Or oh I've never tried the Soma Tome books. Maybe you can go out, you know, it was 20 bucks. Uh, to get that book and hopefully that's 20 bucks for the rest of my life, right? $100 in the exam, these prep materials are probably 200 in total, all of them, 240 versus a course that's gonna ask me for like 800 or 900 for eight weeks or something. I'm sure you could find them online if you really tried, but you know, whether this be for an exam, your Japanese studies, if this helps, you know, some small inspiration or even if it's this video is just for your enjoyment, thanks for watching, that's it. Uh, I really appreciate it, leave comments, uh, and your thoughts on that below. Is this kind of video, is it fun to watch? Is it cool to watch? Is it, I'm curious if you got anything out of it or if you're just vibing. Thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully my stats do not disappoint. As always, don't forget to stay awesome. See you then.